Sarah, 1,775 days. That's how long it's been since we met. 1,657 days since our first date, bringing you home after curfew to the sight of your dad sitting outside awaiting our arrival and me bawling my eyes out on the way home, crying because I blew my shot with the girl of my dreams. You didn't blow it. We're good. 23 days since you texted me after a wedding dress fitting and said, dress looks and feels amazing. I feel like a bombshell. <laughs> you didn't lie. You will never know how beautiful I think you are. Ever. Yeah, it's a real privilege to stand in front of a true friend and tell him what you really admire about him. Something a friend told me a couple weeks ago uh, was you remember more about how you feel around someone than what they actually say. And Colson, I feel more loved around you than anybody else in my life. And Uncle Dan and I are so proud of the man you become and how loving, happy, and joyful you are. Wow. Um, he, he's a constant encourager, um, and to know Colson is to know joy. And at no moment in my life did I ever feel like Colson was not holding me up or putting me on his shoulders. Colson has always been the person that I looked up to. He's been my role model. Colson, uh, the thing I admire about you the most is what I'm gonna call your servant hospitality. It's not having someone into your home, but it's making space for them in your lives. You've treated me and so many people here like your own. Colson, I have the highest respect for you and I admire you. I will continually pursue you, never let you hit the pillow thinking you aren't the most beautiful thing the world has to offer. I'll choose you on the easy days and the hard days and won't be there any less in the shadows and valleys than I will be on the sunshine and the mountaintops. To know Sarah is to be known. Think of how special it is to be known truly by another person. Sarah just changes you for good. She is, she's just goodness. So Sarah, from Mary and I, we love you very much. We are just thrilled to have you in our family. I feel honored and I feel blessed to have the daughter that I've prayed for for 23 years. Sarah has become a greater friend than I imagine anyone in my life would ever become. She's always happy and always smiling. And I'm gonna leave her with this before I start bawling. If I am lucky enough to find someone like Sarah, I will have done incredibly well in life. Sarah, kiddo, this isn't so easy. <laughs> Almost since the day you were born, you've been my guiding light. You are my example of goodness in the world. I'm just really grateful that God picked me to be your dad. And I really don't want you to go. Love you. But you've met this terrific, amazing guy and our prayers have been answered in the most perfect way. You are the greatest gift, apart from Christ to me, that I've ever received, and are more than anything that I could have ever dreamed. I love you. <laughs> I can't kiss you yet. <laughs> no, don't. Colson. <laughs> um, you got it. You got it. You got I know, it. I got it, I got it. With you, Colson, I have become a woman I didn't know I could. To a lot of other people, the surface really does seem to be where we sparkle, but to me it will always be in the mundane. The mundane is really where we've seen each other. It's where the noise quiets, 
and where we've learned to hear each other and listen. It's where we've become best friends and each other's confidants. You've not only cheered for me <laughs> as I fought for things I believe in, but you have held my hand and fought for them with me. Because of the ways that you believe in me, I believe in me too. Like a window pane, I stand in your love and it's pouring rain. I love you. I love you. Colson, you may kiss your friend. <laughs> You two, turn around. Take a look at these people. Mr. and Mrs. Holson and Sarah Street Matter. There is no one I laugh more with, no one who finds me as funny as you do. And no one I would rather spend every waking moment with. Oh I love who you were and who you are and who you're becoming. And here's the sparkling in the mundane. I love you. <laughs> oh my god! Stop, we got so quickly! <laughs> missed a curfew before that night. I was not happy. And when Colson pulled up with Sarah, the only two words he got from me were, not good. <laughs> and I feel terrible now that I know Colson to be one of the best people I've ever known. And thankfully, Sarah's judgment was better than mine, and she knew how good you were. grandfather calling. We are both very sorry and disappointed that we cannot be there with you to share your special evening. I'm very honored to offer the blessing for your wedding this evening. Bless this marriage and all here to witness the joy between Sarah and Colson. Help them keep the love they now share so they may pass on this love to their children and their children's children. Help them continue to enjoy each other as they did when they first met.